we're having a fantastic lunch, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, we're also um, testing the new uh, Sportage lineup. Um, as you know, we've added seven models, so we thought we'd bring you out here to a nice part of uh, Hearties and put the, the, a couple of the Sportages through their paces. Essentially, when we launched back in uh, October 2016, we were very light in terms of choice across the range and uh, the price breakpoints between the, the various models was just too big. So we, we took customer feedback on board and we also looked at the competitor sets, the guys we were up against in that market. Uh, and on average, they, they all had between seven and eight models in their lineups and we, had, we only had five. So we re-looked at it and we also identified that there's a sweet spot in that mid-size SUV space between 360 and 450,000 Rand. And we've literally just pushed four brand new models into that space. Um, the, the obvious uh, um, reasoning behind it is to give people a lot more choice, but then to add value back into the Sportage range. It's actually quite nice that Kia has realized their mistake. Um, and they've actually brought out you know, a, a wide range of, of cars that aren't gonna necessarily break bank compared to some of the competitors out there. So we've always had the, the lower spec or the entry level uh, Sportage, the Ignite. What we've done now is we've added an auto box to that which only was in a manual previously. Um, and then we've added specifications as well, but not only interior specifications, external spec to it as well. So we've got different wheels uh, to make it look a lot more appealing. So we're bringing a car that's at a, a, a more affordable price point, which just looks a hell of a lot better than an entry level Sportage. And that goes all the way through to uh, through the top of the range into the, the, the lower 500,000s. And we've just looked at adding satellite navigation as an example, 19 inch alloy wheels, um, just spec that people really want in a vehicle but without breaking the bank obviously. So everything from 369, 995 all the way through to the upper end of the 500,000s. I drove the diesel uh, manual, yeah, six, six forward. So um, it's, it's quite impressive. Yeah, I love, uh, you know, I'm a fan of diesel cars. So yeah, it provides uh, adequate power. Even overtaking maneuvers, you know, it makes everything possible. This new generation Sportage is uh, very refined. It's got a very good ride quality and in terms of its interior finishes, it's, it's raised the bar compared to its predecessor, which it had to because now the price is also a lot higher. One used to get used to Kia's being at a lower price point than the competitors and providing particularly good value for money. Now they're basically level with their competitors and edging into sort of premium brand territory. So they've had to lift their game and they have. 